Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name's Lippy Lou, and today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial uh, based on the character Poppy from Trolls. Now it's not going to be her full makeup. I am actually going to try and do that um, off camera and see how I go. But this is something that's inspired by her. Um, I really love the character. I really love her uh, her energetic, uh, positive attitude. It um, her song has actually got me. It got me through a couple of rough spots, actually. I just keep singing it to myself over and over again. Usually when I'm doing the cleaning, that's when I need more, the most motivation. <laughs> so the housework and everything like that, that's where I need the most motivation. Um, but a couple of updates, first of all, before I go on to the tutorial. Um, first of all, I'm using my new camera. It looks so shiny and new. It's not it's second hand, but it looks great. I've taken some photos with it, um, and I really love the quality. So I'm testing out the video quality today. So fingers crossed this is all good in the hood. So I'll just do a couple more tutorials based on um, what I do. Um, so today, as I said, doing a character one based on her, not actually the full pink face. Um, but based on her. Um, so let's get started. So as you can see already, I have done my foundation. I've done that off screen. If you want to know how I do my foundation, I have got a previous video. Um, so check that out. And that's how I do my foundation. Um, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do first of all, I've done my, uh, I've done my base um, and I've kind of just not done my eyebrows and tried to cover them up just slightly not very well like drag queen style um they their eyebrows are on point uh, but um yeah i'm just gonna put that out there so first of all what i'm going to start doing is contouring um i am going to use a little bit of contour i'm not a lot i'm going to focus more on the cheeks and the blush basically because she has some big big gross cheeks that i absolutely love and i actually have when i've got a sweat on so um first of all i'm going to use um, Technique Colour Fix. Um, I've just recently bought this and I absolutely love it. One of my mates has actually used this as well and she said, where'd you get that from? I really like it and I was like, it was 2 99 at the Metro Centre. Done, stuffed it. So, I'm just going to take normal, normal brush, birthday present as I've told you before and I'm going to take this one here and um, just roll it round tap it and just start with the contour so I don't do big contour uh, because I'm not kind of used to contouring just yet so I'm not gonna go mental like some other people do because as I said before I need contouring um, just gonna try and just sort of build up my confidence with it so any tips muchly appreciated now I'm going to do a little bit of highlight, so I'm going to go in with this one here on the same palette because it's awesome and it has everything I need. And just, just highlight under the eyes and just get everything sort of in perspective. I hope this looks alright in camera because I can't see the screen and I hope I'm still in bloody focus and I hope I am in shot basically. So. That's all I really do for contour at the moment. So basically, um, I, as I say, I'm still new to contouring. Um, I don't think I do a bad job, but hey ho. Right, okay, so next what I'm going to go in with is a gorgeous little red, pinky sort of blush. I love this blush. I do use it, but I use it very sparingly. I've hit pan now, so um, I do use it very, very sparingly. I'm just going to, yes. See, one of my mates said to me, she watched my YouTube video and said, at least you never prepared, never prepared for these YouTube videos and do you know what? I've got everything here, everything to the side of me. I still can't find anything. Jesus Christ, sorry babe. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, just gonna get big old blusher brush, that. So that's how much I'm getting on. There's quite a bit on there that's going to make my cheeks look pink, but she's a pink person, so it doesn't matter. So, get baby hairs out of the way again. So I'm just going to start on the ball of my cheek and just dab. I'm not going to go 
because I'm going to try and focus it a little bit more on the cheeks. I don't know if it's coming out on camera. Oh, I can see in the mirror it is a little bit. So, yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah, I've never practiced this before, by the way. <laughs> so, what I'm going to go in next is again. Um, now, I have been buying a lot of things actually. So, uh, first of all, I've bought this beautiful fan brush. It's so soft. So soft. So, uh, I have bought that um, and it's amazing. I only got it yesterday. So, I had to use it this morning and I really like it. I'm going to try it with contour as well. I do like the little like circular motion going down the cheek at the moment. But I'm going to try that with contour. And also, again, technique. Technic, technic, I don't know. Get gorgeous highlighter. Now I don't have a proper proper highlighter. I have been actually using shadow, so I've got to buy myself an actual proper highlighter. It is a little bit um white, if that makes sense. So it doesn't give I don't think it gives an amazing glow. But I think for this purpose I think it would be really good. So um let me just get it on that brush. I'm just gonna up cheeks just over the blush just a little bit now um i know people do their faces differently um i do base then the cheeks and then my eyes oh, well actually brows eyes so um i actually do that um first and then i go and do my lips so i am giving myself a good glow there you go do you give myself a good glow um, purely because again I'm looking for that cartoony effect but not the everyday cartoony effect if that makes sense so a little bit on the nose and of course the cupid bow there you go highlighted now um, just to uh, give us again that little bit of a shiny ray of hope sort of glimmer to your face I'm going to do it, I'm just going to go above the eyebrows slightly just to give it that little bit as you can tell you probably can't tell, I don't know, I don't know if this camera is picking it up properly so it's nice possibly a little bit on the temples to just to bring it down so nice little glow Okay, so this is the fun part. This is the fun part I have been waiting for. I'm basically got massive palette. Now this palette cost me eight ninety nine on Amazon. Actually, majority of the stuff that I've just been using, I have been uh, buying on Amazon. Amazon, love it. Um, I've also found just a little bit of a hint and tip. I use this primer, Baby Baby Skin, uh, by Maybelline. Um, I found this on Amazon for three ninety nine. It's seven ninety nine in the shops. Bargain and a half, and I'm happy with that. I will be getting it off Amazon. Next. This is the one I'm going to be focusing on today. Primarily the sort of pinks and purples here. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with that. Um, first of all, let me find a brush because that's what I do best. Completely unprepared. Again. So what I'm going to do, I am first of all going to go in with one, this colour here, um, so just to give an overall effect to, well basically to help the transition, but to, from colour to colour, so, just going to put that at the top of my brows, I'm actually going to do my brows afterwards because I am going to paint them pink for you yes I am so just I feel like um, like just a neutral eyeshadow really helps prime the eye as well now some people may disagree with me but it's how I do it it's how I roll I'm self taught I'm not anything fancy or anything like that um, I don't do expensive makeup as you know uh, I don't do massive amounts of um, uh, makeup all at once as well so um, I'm still learning stuff as I say my contouring I'm still learning so I don't go overboard with it so I'm 
just learning okay so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take this one here sorry they don't have any names but I'm going to call this one Poppy because that's what the colour of her face so this is Poppy right so I'm going to go in to the crease tiny bit over the eye I'm going to bring it up to bring it up so again I'm making more cartoony sort of wild look but it's still pretty at the same time so I'm going to bring it up a little bit over my eyelids just blend it into that white so again that white was really good to start with so I'm going to get a bit more on my brush because they're not amazing colours but they're amazing for beginners so I would recommend this beginner as it says on the thing it says beginner's palette so just going to get in there a little bit of dabbing and just bring it up so it looks like that right so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go in with a little bit more of a, I'm going to get rid of this brush, which I've used for blending, get a little bit smaller brush, there we go, a little bit more smaller brush for, blend, brush for blending, that is really hard to say, don't do it when you're drunk, um, and I'm going to take this purple here, now I'm going to put a little bit more darkness on there, not too much because Poppy is not dark, but she does have a little bit of purple around her. So, I'm going to put that a little bit in the crease and just dab it out the outside. Yeah, yes, my darling. Sorry, I'm concentrating quite a lot so I apologize if I go silent for a bit I'm gonna do I'm still doing this all in one take as well as I've told you in my previous videos still doing it all in one take because I haven't got any decent software just yet but um, as you can see I'm just taking it just a little bit on the eye I'm still keeping that pink very sharp I'm gonna do the other way Now the last one I'm going to use on the actually it's not going to be the last one I use on the lid, but um, I really, really, really like this little baby pink here, like a little bit sharper than baby pink. Oh, is that the one that doesn't work? Oh, it's that one. So <laughs> can't even remember my own palette. Some of these are just a little bit like ugh, I can't get to them for some strange reason. But I, I don't know why. Maybe they've gone off. I don't know. But that little baby pink there. So I'm taking quite a lot on this one because it's a lighter colour. You just do the rest of your lid with it. So it just blends in with that beautiful purple and that beautiful pink that you've put on before. So basically um, that is like the colour um, that I am going for. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows um, in this sort of glittery sort of pinky colour. So as you can see, it's a nice glittery pinky colour to so just really stand out. Now you don't have to do the pink eyebrows. I just really want to because I'm a weirdo and I love my pink eyebrow. I like I like anything mental. So I'm just gonna take that blending brush that we were using before, gonna go in for it. I'm just gonna go over my eyebrows. Now if you wanna use this for a night out or anything like that and you don't want to do the pink eyebrows, that's no problem. Just take the pink eyebrows out, do your usual eyebrows, no big deal. Now this brush is way too thick for my eyebrows and I've used it a little bit too much. But I've started now so I'm going to finish. What's that from? 
Comment below what that catchphrase is from. I can't remember. It's really bugging me as well now. Oh. Oh, it's an English game show, I know that. So. Pink eyebrows. So I'm just going to go in there with my little eyebrow brush and just smooth out anything. So they're kind of like soul pink. They're not like pink. pink. I kind of feel like a David Bowie. Just a little bit. Right, that's all I'm going to do for my eyebrows because I think that was a mistake. It's fine. It's done now. Oh well. Right, so what I'm going to do next is just put a little bit of eyeliner on. And so I'm just going to go in there with my waterline. Oh my god, this doesn't work anymore. That is out of date. Sorry. But I'm just going to take a little bit of the black and just go along there. So it's just a black eyeshadow that's from that palette. I don't want to give it a completely smoky feel because that's poppy. She's not dark at all. She's sunshine and rainbows and hugs. So. And what I'm going to do next. Smudge it a bit. Now I have bought this new. Mascara. And I don't like it, but it's a really good base for a decent mascara. Now what I'm going to do in future videos is what I am actually going to use false eyelashes. Because I have realised that on camera normal eyelashes don't look right. They just don't look right. So, and then I'm going to get my Maybelline volume and just go back over so there we go now what I'm going to do lastly is just take a little bit of this eyeshadow and just pop it in the middle of my eye so it gives that little bit of a gleam gives a little bit of like dimension to your eyelids so it's not just pink you know what I mean so pop in that in the middle also as well I was using this for highlight before so I would pop a bit there and a bit there Now lastly is my favourite bit. I'm going to put some beautiful lipstick on. Let me have a look. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use my Avon. And this is called Hot Plum. And it is beautiful. I absolutely love it. and I think this look is complete so there you go this is my poppy from trolls inspired makeup tutorial um, so basically if you like it um, and you want to see more of it I've got a little bit there on the pig um, if you like it and want to see more of it just please subscribe hit that red subscribe button so um, I can get some more followers and hopefully you like what I do in the future um, if you don't like me just skip the video don't even bother don't comment don't do anything 
just give the video okay um but give a comment um i don't mind a constructive criticism i just don't like people being nasty saying you crap you shit the makeup get off of the screen but um as i say just uh comment with any tips that you may be able to give me um and because i'm i am still learning i've got my uh, so I keep looking at myself and I really like it. I really like it a lot. So um, yeah, as I say, uh, please comment, like and subscribe to my channel. And I shall see you next time. And my name's Lippy Lou. Lippy Lou out.